Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I know, I know when I started this channel, I wanted to show you the power of command line. But these days I'm just feeding you memes and you guys must be like, we're on the other side of something we never signed up for. But don't worry, today I'm going to be your slave and I'm just going to show you what you guys want to see, the power of command line, okay? So how to be cool while learning command line, why you need to learn command line, okay? So that's the theme of this channel, by the way. So this is a website, I have this website and there are a lot of websites where people show how many people visited the website and this is something I also want, okay? At least not on my website, but I want to know how many people visited my website because this is just a static website. I got no idea like how many people are visiting this website which is kind of sucks okay i mean you're running a website like i am uploading a video and i know how many people are watching this video but i i run a website and i don't know like how, okay you guys get it okay let's not ramble on this so first of all i'm running this website on a server like obviously i can't run a website on my local computer what's wrong with you guys today not you guys me so let's just log in on a server now my server is running FreeBSD and as you can see I treat my server exactly like I treat my home computer because my this is basically my home in the cloud okay I don't discriminate like people discriminate but I don't okay I, like home computer is also my computer so why I don't install like oh my ZSH and ZSH so the thing is I wanted just a counter to see how many people are visiting my website and I would be glad if I if I be able to know like more stuff how people are visiting my website from where they are visiting my website and blah 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 and there are a lot of solutions like if you go on Google and like a normie and search like how to know website counter so people are start going to sell you the dashboard like Google Analytics and some you know Free, like you have to add some JavaScript junk in your website. But in order to know all this stuff, you don't have to really do this. What you can do is, so I'm on my server right now and uh, there is nothing in the server. Actually, there is a lot of thing, but not data. So I can go in this var log and nginx directory. And here I got these two files. Now this is the thing about FreeBSD server, by the way. I love the way they organize file. It's so simple. Like it's thousand times simpler than Linux according to me. I don't know why, but I love FreeBSD environment. I don't know why I'm selling you FreeBSD. So this is the access log and this is the error log. Now what is Nginx? Nginx is basically, okay, I have no idea what to say now. It's like a web server, I believe. Let's just see what is Nginx is. I mean, I configured Nginx, I read the docs, but I don't know what to say. Okay, it's like a load balancer, Nginx. I don't know, it's not a load balancer. It's a web server, okay? It's a web server. Now, because it, it is going to serve file. You can serve a static file and it's also like a proxy. So you can do proxy stuff, but fuck it, okay? It's a web server right now. So this access log is basically uh, going to contain so if you request for my website your ip is going to come to this file all right so let's see how many f uh, lines we have let's just get this out oh my god there are a lot of stuff let's just cut this out let's just count how many lines so in order to uh, count the lines so we have this program word counter and hyphen l is basically the number of lines okay so cat you know what cat is okay i don't really like it's obvious like if you don't know what cat is you should not be on my channel okay so here you oh my god there are a lot of lines okay there are a lot of lines so what i want is just getting ip addresses because in the end of the day if 100 people visited my uh, website how i'm going to count well i'm going to count from unique ip addresses right like okay so it's obvious like i don't need to explain some basic stuff so how about like just getting ip addresses so let's do tail command so tail is like last five lines of the file and here you can see let me make the font small so we got like last five lines i think it's more than five i don't know okay let's just get this ip address so how we are going to get uh, this let's run cut cut is a command for cutting out okay you guys you guys will get it it's not very hard so hyphen d is basically the delimiter delimiter is going to be space one space and uh, you know this is field one so this is just going to give us field one why this is field one because after this there is a space so cut is going to treat this as a field one it's not really hard if you have very decent iq you will get it so after this like okay we we i just ran it on the tail so let's just get the whole thing out and let's run cut hyphen d 
and f1 so you you don't really need space here but okay so we are getting like a lot of ips now there is one funny thing like if look at this we got duplicate entries and i don't want this because uh, we are counting so we don't want to recount something so let's just sort all of this and unique so sort is going to just sort everything and then we can use this unique now i don't know like there must be some other way to do this but this is how like our, i just uh, do this so sort is like it will sort and unique command is like just unique ips so we got like all ips let's just count this okay so this is the number i want okay i'm pretty excited all right so okay one oh my god 1071 you know when you're running a static website i i never give a shit like if somebody watching is i i really thought like nobody is going to see my page but oh my god like these are this is some big number so we can do more than this okay so we can like dig in and let's let's do something okay let's do something let's use awk okay so awk is like a program obviously uh let's just run tail instead of a uh, cat because cat is taking too much time so let's just print out on the first first entry so let's do first okay so press enter and this is like the first ip address comma and let's just print three let's see what three is so three is nothing like three is like dash two is also dash uh three okay we i did i read it three i don't know why all right so five is also something garbage let's do six okay so six is like get okay so if i do seven there must be like oh, all right so this is something i want okay so this is basically telling like what file exactly this ip address requested so this is cool because i can literally get a lot from it i can literally like for example this guy it almost looks like he's getting like a lot of pictures from my website he must be web scraping or something like that okay so let's run get command and okay so most people just requested the home page which makes sense uh, right like okay so let's run, run unique why i'm running unique because i'm going to grab i'm going to grab just okay so yeah we can do this so no 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 we can't do this actually okay so let's just grab index.html this will cut out like you know all the okay so we got index.html but we also got some garbage let's just do index.html and let's see okay we are still not getting the home page but uh, that's not a problem you know what there are there are some more things we can do instead of this like uh, yeah we can do this but right now i'm just doing everything live while recording and uh, i don't want to experiment a lot so here with this ip address what else we can do okay so we can use some api to just know the location api let's just use step to go so you guys don't yell at me so api for ip address to address there must be some api guys there must be say simple public ip address api uh yeah this is something i want okay geolocation ip address okay there is it's too bright for my darkness so let's just type this here like some ip address uh is this a good thing by the way showing public ip address i don't know let's just try to search it okay so we got like a lot of information but there is no way to okay there, there is some way like api documentation and i i am pretty sure like i can use some uh, method like this okay like uh like this okay so this is the query okay this is the query basically ah uh -huh, let's just copy copy so what i'm trying to do is here okay i, I should just call all right so we are getting the country here okay we are getting the country instead of this we can use our the api which we just saw okay so like for example tail access.log and then cut and then what 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 i was doing it's d and f1 all right so we are getting like all the stuff let's just use tail hyphen and one all right and uh, let's just make it a variable and uh, let's just paint uh call this and instead of using this api we are going to use that api okay all right so the last guy who visited my website is from netherlands okay this is so cool like you can do so much you can write a complete script and so much it's like it's so beautiful and i can you know what i can write a script for my own dashboard all right my personal dashboard so we can use some more stuff like we can use jq i don't know we have jq installed right now or not i can rsync this access.log somehow like with my computer and then i can use jq i can also install jq instead of just rambling like whatever but the thing is like 
there are so many stuff like writing your script to just monitor your own personal website without any bloatness of you know google and something like that so let's just do this uh i should actually you know i'm literally doing everything live today so i'm going to i think this is not good like i should not do this okay so as you can see i just organized everything and now to be honest like i suck at jq i really don't know like how to use it but let's try let's try country and let's see if this works. okay it worked okay so there is one more thing which is r which is like raw query and i think we did a lot okay we did a lot but there is something which we which i believe like we can do let's do cat instead of just tail okay so let's do cat instead of tail and let's see like if if this is possible oh just to tail not this just to tail with hyphen and uh, three all right so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to get more country but this is not the right way i know this is not the right day way but i'm still doing it because i'm an idiot you know okay so this is not going to work so what i uh what we can do is we can there are a lot of ways okay and i believe like i can easily come up with these ways but i want you to come up with something so let's just stop this video here okay i don't want to stress myself i'm not your slave okay you guys are my slave whatever i feed you you guys just watch it so i'm not slave you are a slave okay so thanks for watching